Um, it's actually a girl from Pensacola. Her name's Laura Casey. And she went to Gulf Breeze High School and um, she started Southern Weddings Magazine. And she is one of my closest friends and mentors. Um, she has two kids and is adopting another one. Yeah, she's a newborn and is adopting another one. And Laura created a conference called Making Things Happen. And it was um, kind of a brave move on my part. I said, you know what, I'm gonna submit to this scholarship for this conference. Um, her very first one, it was in watercolor. I was home visiting for Christmas, it was in 2009, I believe. And she chose me to be selected. I didn't know her at the time, I just kind of Facebook stalked her. And um, I went to her conference and it was much like EntreCon. It was a group of people who were entrepreneurs and they were passionate about something and they wanted to make that happen. But more than making business happen, they wanted to make life happen. And she kind of spearheaded that idea in a time where there wasn't a lot of stuff like that. So um, she's been a wonderful mentor to me, uh, not just in business, but just in life and a good friend as well. One of the things that she always says, it's a quote that she loves, but it's a year from now you will have wished you had started today, and it's from Karen Lamb. And um, I think it's so easy as a big dreamer and entrepreneur to say, I have this idea and this life that I want to lead and this thing I want to do, and I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to do it, you know, after my kids get into school, or I'll do it after I move to the city, or I'll do it when the timing is right, or have the money, or whatever. And it's really just about putting one foot in front of the other and the little bitty bricks that you get to stack on top of each other, the $5 monograms put on top of each other to make something. And it's never gonna be perfect and you're gonna fall on your face and you're gonna mess up, but I think you really have to want it more than you're afraid of it, you know? I do some coaching and I, um, it's kinda like I was saying about social media, I think if you think of your social media following like people in a room, if there were 115,000 people in a room sitting and listening to what I have to say, that is a huge responsibility. So I think all of us have influence, um, you know, whether it's in our families, our communities, or at work, or whatever, but it's something that we all, I think, have to take very seriously. So I think I've considered myself a mentor very early because there's always eyes on you, you know, whether you know it or not. Yeah.